One of the central arguments of the God delusion, Richard Dawkins' book, is the famous schoolboy argument. If we believe in a creator, we'll have to ask who created the creator. Now his third argument that he offered was the simple question, who created God? Yes, I just ahead. wanted to ask, where did God come from? Being philosophically consistent and being a very honest person, I'm sure you can tell me where God came from. In this video, I will explain Thomas Aquinas' answer to the question, who created God? In like 90 seconds! Let's begin by defining God. God is the first cause of everything. How do we know such a being exists? One argument is called the argument of efficient cause. Everything that exists was caused by something else. You came from mom and dad. The building you're in right now came from construction workers. The phone you're watching this on came from kids in a sweatshop in China. Those kids came from their mom and dad. Who came from their mom and dad? Who came from their mom and dad? And back and back and back and back and back and back. When you follow the cause-effect trail as far back as possible, you arrive at a being that is somehow powerful enough to create everything inside and outside of the universe. We call this being God. Now your question. Well, who created God? Say I knew the being that created God and his name was Ryan. Wouldn't that make Ryan the first cause of everything? Thus, our definition finds a new culprit, and God is actually Ryan. But say I discovered that Ryan, who created God, Ryan was created by Kelly. That would make Kelly the first cause, and Kelly would be God. As you can see, we are right back on the cause and effect trick. And we've missed the entire point of the efficient cause argument. The argument states that the nature of our reality necessitates a first and eternal cause, because the loop of cause and effect cannot go back forever. Thomas Aquinas worded it like this, God is that which no greater thing can be conceived. If there is a being more powerful than God that created God that was the actual first cause, then that being is God. God was not created and was the first cause of everything. So the question who created God is not actually an argument, it's more of a clarifying question. Hopefully this video helps clarify the answer to that question for you.